Hi, my name is Siham and I am a chef. Today we are going to prepare ground beef brewets. We will first start by preparing the mixture that will be used for stuffing. This recipe needs eggs as they help hold the filling together. The eggs are washed. We should crack them one by one to make sure that if we have a bad egg, it does not spoil the entire batch. We will use six eggs. Now add the spices, salt, pepper, a little bit of ground ginger, paprika, a little bit of tomato paste, a little bit of harissa, parsley, cilantro and a little bit of olive oil. Mix all the ingredients so everything is well combined. After mixing the eggs, add the ground beef. The ground beef is now mixed with all the spices. Turn on the stove and pour some vegetable oil in the pan. Add a little piece of butter. These ground beef brewets are very easy to prepare and are delicious. You can serve them as an appetizer or a side dish with soup or harira. After melting the butter, Add the ground beef mixture. Choose good quality lean ground beef without too much fat so that the brewet tastes good. Our filling is now ready, so turn off the heat. The filling is dry, but we will still drain it in a colander to remove any excess water because liquids can tear the pastilla sheets. We will set the filling aside to drain completely before adding the cheese and sliced olives. Once the filling has cooled down,
and completely dried from any excess liquids. We will add the sliced olives and the grated cheese. Use as much cheese as you want. Mix the ground beef with the olives and the cheese until the mixture becomes homogeneous. After mixing the filling, we will form the brewets. Take a few pastilla sheets and keep the rest covered with plastic wrap so they don't dry out. For a clean finish look, cut the edges of the pastilla sheets. Cut the pastilla sheets depending on the size of brewette that you want to make. Place back the pieces of pastilla sheets under the plastic wrap so that they don't dry out. Each pastilla sheet has a soft side and a rough side. Place the soft side of the pastilla sheet directly on your work surface and place the filling on the rough side. Fold the brewettes gently from right to left, then from left to right. Brush the ends of the pastilla sheets with the beaten egg to seal the brewettes. Here is the brewa. The pastilla sheet is well sealed. Again, start folding the brewettes gently from right to left or from left to right, depending on which direction is easier for you. And continue the same way. We don't need to oil the pastilla sheets because they already come brushed with oil. Use a generous amount of filling. We will now turn on the stove and heat up the oil. The oil level must be deep so that the brewettes do not absorb too much oil. While the oil is heating up, continue folding the brewettes. Grab a piece of pastilla sheet and place it in the oil to test if the oil is ready. The oil is starting to heat up because there are bubbles forming around the pastilla sheet. Let's add the brewettes and fry them. The oil should be neither too hot or too cold. If the oil is too hot, the brewettes will burn. Once the brewettes start to cook, we will flip them. Mm. 
The brewets are now ready. They have a beautiful golden brown color on both sides. Remove the brewets and place them on a plate covered with paper towel to absorb excess oil. Now that the brewets are ready, we will place them on the serving plate. The decoration depends on your taste and personal preference. Add some parsley branches. Our brewets are now ready. Sahaw raha!